that this will never happen again. You know, that's number 800,422 of 82 million things that can go wrong.
that kind of correlation in our and of course, causality and correlation is always a It turns out in recent work in statistics that shows at that time you can actually tell the difference. The species are different. The kinds that occur correlate or don't, depending on whether it's causal or correlated. Yeah. 
huge. So this is not going to be particularly real. Yeah. How many might be helping with the whole further development or sort of specialized in style into the kind of data you guys get? Or
Okay. So you may look at that instrumentation in there, whether it meets that schedule that's actually coming down during the mission. I know we get in the flight because it had a, a, a terrible launch, but they were having trouble when they were instrumenting and doing doing and tests, and they hadn't instrumented their interrupt. And they went, they struggled and struggled and struggled. They were getting resets and core dumps that would take an entire day. And the next day, they start their test and then get a reset to core dump. And at some point in time, they called it and expected a publicity. And we said, one build where you instrument all your interrupts. And instrument your interrupts. And there was an error in the microcode of that 54. It had nothing to do with software. But they had been struggling with it for a while. I'm just saying, get the instrumentation in there. We, we dealt with the core cooling system on the ISS, and we did a model of it down on the ground to find out you know, what we had found in the instrumentation. What we found is the thermals were put on such they were falling off inside the system because they weren't supposed to last this long. So there's nothing which is get your instrumentation in there yeah. so that you expect it to be consistent yeah. so that it was <laughs> mathematically correct unless your sensor is actually dripping and falling off. Not all problems are software problems. <laughs> well, we we're putting the instrumentation in the code, and it worked. Yeah. It didn't work. yeah. <laughs> because somebody was storing a value where they shouldn't, it was in the instrumentation part that had already been used, but there was instrumentation to move that code out of range. Yeah, yeah I was just wondering about um, IND, because to me, that's where you can get a lot more data. Yeah. That we sort of left and turned after. Analysis um, of data to find out what was in the family as we're actually getting the data, the telemetry data. And we had far more of that data than we did during runtime. And a lot, you know, it was already there, it was on the ground. We didn't have to schedule time. And had we been, had the tools in place to do that analysis, it really would have helped us out quite a bit. In families, when you only have one. There's a certain amount of it theoretically, but you don't have movement to figure out what's going on. I'm an expert on this, but I know that you know, aircraft, uh, manufacturing, uh, nuclear power, data centers are already going through this type of stuff and gone through literature or different industries and studies and figured out, okay, what can we pull from industries that are already implementing this? Um, when people become sufficiently interested, we will definitely do that, but we have not yet because our sponsor was okay Thursday. Okay. Those are two complex areas that matter where there has been a certain amount of work. I'm not sure about these guys, but I know there's errors. Yeah. 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 Yeah.